Today we're looking at the 40 volt range from Makita. New drill, new drill. Uh, I've got a new drill. Uh, there are drills in that range, Gary, but I thought with this hot weather we need something just to, just to help with the general environment. So I've bought a fan. <sighs> Fan, okay. Well, we've had fads and fans before because I think uh, as we look here on the table, we've had the coffee maker that we made before. Sterling effort there makes three cups of coffee and it takes an eternity in order to make those cups of coffee. Yeah. And you've now gone out and bought us a fan. Yeah, but I like the coffee. I mean, clearly there's a department at Makita that has like the bonkers department where they could do the sensible stuff all the time, but they've decided to go off and do coffee machines, very useful. But I thought, well, if I'm drinking coffee, I like to be cool and nice and nice and airy when I'm doing it. So, fan. so, so, you, so we've got a fan that works on a 40 volt battery. Yeah. So, am I going to need to pin things down on the table with the propulsion of the air going out? Well, we'll find out. We'll find out. We'll get to that. We'll get to that. There's an instruction book here, Gary. I wow. Know you, I know you like to read instructions, and that is probably the biggest instruction book I've ever seen for a fan. <laughs> okay. Now. Oh, it's great, we've got a fan, but I always find in that really hot weather and when you, you go lurching towards a fan, it just propels warmer air at you at a faster rate and yeah, never really well, cools well, you down. So I think you're going to have to sell this one too. Yeah, well, it's not an air conditioner. But um, so, but before I start, the, so the 40 volt range from Makita, so obviously 40 is better than 30, it's better than 18. Um, it's 40 volts, so it must have more power. And if I look at that straight away, so here's the battery from my coffee machine. Okay, let's put them side by side then. Let's yep. have a, a closer so look at them. The same size battery, pretty, mm -hmm. pretty okay. identical. And what voltage range have we got there? Just remind me again. Uh, so this is 18 volts in okay. a coffee machine and that existing Makita tool range. Uh, for three cups, yeah. Yeah, so if I look on the back, there is a watt uh, and a watts per hour rating. Yep. So this battery is rated for 54 watts for an hour. Okay. And uh, this one is rated for. 90 watts for an hour. Okay, and so it's a lion battery by the looks of things. Yeah, nah, that's lithium ion. Okay, okay. all right, yeah. thanks for clearing up. Lions that roar. Okay, yeah. all right. So let's see if this fan can roar. Well, okay, let's let's go. And there's, there's obviously going to be some buttons in there. We've got some instructions that we're probably not going to read. So yeah, we'll whack it in. But before, well, hold on, before I get there, there's one, there's one annoying thing, uh, apart from Gary, uh, <laughs> and it's the charger. So oh wow, so is that the fan you've turned on? Yeah, have a closer look at it. It's got flashing lights. Bring your camera in, have okay, a look. We'll have, have a little look, look then. So we'll, we'll bring in roving cam. Let's have a little look here. Okay, yeah. that makes a lot of noise. It does make a lot of noise. That's the first thing I realised. Is that if, I, if somehow this fan powered itself miraculously <laughs> with not having the battery. Uh, no, it's a noisy charger. Um, okay. so, anyway, so that bleeps away there. Um, and the other thing I thought, just so I can use that charger with the one for the coffee machine, I don't want to be having a separate charger to do this adapter. Okay, so I'll that's that's going to make so that's this be able to go onto that charger? Yeah. So okay, just so have, have a look. look. I'll have a little look. Hang on, just give us a second. Okay, I'm ready. Yeah, so yeah. clicked on there. We can now charge the 18 volt, is it? Yes. With the charger that's designed for the 40 volt? Yeah, that's it. Oh, that's clever, a little bit of technology. And no annoying fan? No, wait for it. I'm waiting. Oh, oh annoying fan. <laughs> yeah, okay, you okay. can get the annoying fan. Right, okay. So anyway, that's the annoying fan out of the way. Just switch that off. Let's get to the other fan. <laughs> okay, the other fan, yeah. <laughs> okay. So this is now using the 40 volt battery. That's the 40 volt battery. Oh, okay, hold things down. We're ready to go. Hold on, let's... Oh. <laughs> so we can see it's working. Just so we can give the visual <laughs> display of air coming out. We've got a few bits of tape here and a bit of uh, what, packaging, I would suggest. Yeah. All right, okay. I'll that looks that. great. So you're going to flick it on and we're going to see these come out uh, in a straight line. Yeah. Go on then, fire up. It's a fan. Wow. Okay, that's speed setting number three. So it's three settings. That's the fastest that's speed. That's the fastest speed. Okay, so knock that down. That's, that's speed setting number oh, one. Oh, yeah. You see it just drift down yeah. a little bit there. So, we'll just bit. Drop it, yeah. so we can do that. So I'll put it back up to the maximum okay. speed. Yep. Oh, yeah. And it's, is it rotating? It is. It rotates. Rotates. And it rotates. So, uh, yeah, fantastic. So it'll, it'll we'll come all the way around, will it? Is it a 360? Oh, towards the audience and back again. 360-ish. Oh. Ish, yeah, okay. So if we stopped it in a position, can we just rotate it around manually, can we? Well, can oh, the... tilts as well. So obviously it's probably just, if, it, if we're actually using it, I probably, probably want it around this direction, really. Right, yeah, towards you. Yeah. 
Yeah. So there's nothing worse than having, say, a gimmick with lots of bells and whistles, and you just all, always seem to be playing with those bells and whistles. Don't forget, anyone who uh, hasn't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel, okay? And we'd love to have you back on one of our other tool reviews, because of course, you know, today we are doing tool review, is what we're doing today, is what you've got to remember. Yeah, as always, someone gets an annoying new piece of kit. And yes, then, yeah. and then wants to show everybody their annoying yeah. new piece of kit. And yours yeah. happens to be a fan that we don't need. That's it. No, I think we're doing this. Quite, it's a little yeah. bit cooler. What? Yeah, I think that's that's good. I, I like that. Well, there's one more feature. Yeah, okay, one more feature. feature. Let's bring the camera in. Let's see this 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 feature here. So, nothing better than a bit of technology here. So we've got all these buttons. We're on. Oh, we've got so one, two, and four. Yeah, one, two, four. So that's a timer. Okay. And I did have to hunt through the 27 different languages to find that in here. So that timer is one, two, four, and that's one hour, two hours, and four hours. Okay, on the battery, did we think it probably would do four hours? Is that the sort of thing that we're thinking? So the battery, this did confuse me in the instructions because I've got here wind speed and it says low, medium and high, but it didn't actually mean wind speed in the instruction. It actually means how long it will last on the battery. Right, okay. Yeah, so not wind speed. Not wind speed, okay. no. So ignore that in the instructions, but I'm guessing on this size battery, and there is a bigger one, which we'll have to explore as well. well look at that. Yeah, yeah. it's a yeah. fan. Blowing the pages of the instructions it's over. Great at drilling holes. Huh? Um, so it will last on the low speed for 730 minutes. 730 minutes. Or 410 minutes on the high speed. Okay, so. On okay. that size battery, if you go up to the bigger battery, it would last for 660 minutes on the bigger battery. So that's a, that's a good 10 hour. 10 hour day. Okay, that makes sense. But clearly Gary wouldn't need it for 10 hours. But there is a chance that maybe I needed the, the battery that was for a drill perhaps, in a drill. So how else could I power it? It could power it. It does come with a mains adapter, does it? It does come with a mains adapter as well. Okay, you're fumbling around there on the floor with it. Okay, so how long does the mains adapter last? Uh, well, that lasts forever. It lasts as long as it means, Gary. <laughs> Almost quite now. Yeah, 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 nearly had a little there. moment <laughs> thinking there. Yeah, yeah, as long as we've got power supply. Yeah, okay, so you can plug that one in. So we're, yeah. we're now on the mains, are we? So this can come out, can it? can come out there. Yeah. Yeah. Put that in. It works on the electricity from the mains as well. How yeah. clever is that? Now, yeah, it would have been good if it would charge the battery at the same time off the mains. Yeah, okay. But yeah. it doesn't. It doesn't. Okay, yeah. we're, we're cool with that. So that, that's not a problem at all. So it's in the range of the 40 volt range. I take it we bought just the fan on its own. Okay, yes. And then you're probably going to be using the battery that may be associated or several batteries associated with some power tools that we haven't got. Yeah, that we haven't got. It would probably be a luxury purchase to buy the fan itself, which I think is, is not that expensive, but obviously the battery and charger. The, ba the battery and charger are significantly more than the fan. And yeah, and what you can't do is use the 40 volt battery on the coffee machine, Gary. So it can't make more coffee and it can't make it. It can't make all coffees, the coffees in three, no. is what we're saying. Well, we don't know yet. No. Um, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I've got a funny feeling there's four people are here. One doesn't get a cup of coffee and they don't get tea either. So that's the Makita, what are we going to call it? So what's the what fancy word? It's the XGT fan. We'll put the link XGT in the description. XGT fan. We'll, we'll put the link in the description below. There is an 18 volt version, but this is a world exclusive. There is not so far I've found a review of the 40 volt version. Um, so if anyone can go off and watch possibly one of those other videos, they'll be able to tell us if uh, what the difference is okay. apart from 20 two volts okay good maths yeah. so uh, as always you know we've just put it below there because again i love bringing it in we're also on instagram and we do a lot of lot of stuff on there a lot of uh, social stuff a little bit maybe a little bit more humorous maybe over there as well as you can see what we're having for breakfast tea evening meals where we're drinking in the evening when we leave uh, lineside studios uh, normally in the late hours isn't it when we get away from here so as always we're always keen to hear your feedback is there any tools out there you'd like us to review 40 volt drill, did I hear you say that? Sorry, 40 volt drill, yes. Okay, so maybe that would be nice that you could do the, the 40 volt drill in the future, so maybe we could do that. Is there any tools out there you really love? Is there the gimmick tool that actually isn't a gimmick? That is a fantastic tool. Maybe you love the coffee maker, maybe you love the fan. I think the fan's really good. It was nice cool air blowing over us. Um, unlike Death Valley, which was the hottest place in the world a couple of uh, weeks ago, this, this unit was very close to Second it. Second hottest place on the planet, world, yeah. yeah. And we didn't have a fan that week. Please leave those comments below, and we will, as always, try and get back to as many of those comments as we can. Until next time, we'll see you on the next video.